Ever wondered what field transmitter damping is and why it's important? Let's dive right in. Field transmitter damping is a feature found in most modern field transmitters, both analog and digital. Think of it as a low-pass filter function that reduces what we call process noise. Now, what's this process noise? Consider a pressure transmitter sensing water pressure at the outlet of a large pump. The turbulence of the water flow causes fluctuations in the pressure signal output by the transmitter. This fluctuation, or noise, can interfere with the accuracy of feedback control loops as these loops interpret these rapid changes as real pressure changes requiring corrective action. Reducing this noise is crucial for the accuracy of these control systems. But how do we go about it? Well, that's where field transmitter damping comes in. Tune in for the next part where we'll delve into how field transmitter damping works to tackle this process noise. Field transmitter damping is essentially a low-pass filter function. It's a feature that acts like a super smart bouncer at a club, filtering out the unwanted noise and only letting in the signals that matter. But how does this bouncer, or low-pass filter, work exactly? Well, let's delve into that. Imagine you're at a party with a room full of people, all talking at the same time. It's a cacophony of sounds, right? Now imagine you're trying to focus on one single conversation amidst all that noise. Difficult, isn't it? That's exactly what a field transmitter has to deal with. A myriad of signals, both necessary and unnecessary, all trying to get through at once. This is where our bouncer, the low-pass filter, steps in. It has a very specific job to allow only the low-frequency signals through and block out the high-frequency ones. Why? Because the high-frequency signals are usually the culprits behind the noise, the chatters that we don't want at our party. The low-pass filter does its job by using a simple circuit made up of a resistor and a capacitor. When a high-frequency signal tries to pass through, the capacitor acts like a wall, blocking it from getting to the other side. However, for a low-frequency signal, the capacitor is more like an open door, letting it pass through almost unattenuated. Now, this filter circuit is characterized by its cutoff frequency, which is where its performance is primarily gauged. The cutoff frequency is like the bouncer's discerning eye, determining who gets to stay and who needs to go. Mathematically, it's defined as F equals 1 over 2 pi times RC. At this point, only about 70.7% .7 of the input signal is allowed to appear at the output, which results in a significant reduction in noise. Through this filtering or damping, we can reduce the noise in the transmitter signal. It's like creating a quieter, more manageable party, where only the guests that matter are allowed in. And that, my friends, is how field transmitter damping works. The effects of field transmitter damping are significant and beneficial. Let's delve into the impact of this feature. Damping acts like a vigilant gatekeeper, ensuring only the true process changes pass through. It's like being at a busy party. Amidst all the chatter and noise, damping helps you focus on the conversation that really matters to you. In the context of a pumping system, damping reduces the turbulence-induced fluctuations in the pressure signal, allowing the control system to react only to genuine pressure changes. This is akin to smoothing out the ripples in a pond, enabling a clear reflection of the sky above. By quieting the signal, damping improves the accuracy of feedback control loops, leading to more efficient system operation. It's like tuning a musical instrument, removing the discordant notes to achieve a harmonious performance. In essence, damping enhances the reliability of process measurements, ensuring control systems respond appropriately and effectively. This is why field transmitter damping is so important in modern transmitters. So, now you know what field transmitter damping is and why it's important. It's a feature embedded in most modern field transmitters, both analog and digital, functioning as a low-pass filter to reduce process noise. This is crucial, especially in situations where a transmitter, like a pressure transmitter, interprets turbulence as fluctuations in pressure, causing a noisy and unstable reading. Field transmitter damping, by filtering out high-frequency noise, allows for a more accurate and steady signal. This not only improves the overall performance of the system, but also prevents potential misinterpretation of data by feedback control loops. The magic of damping lies in its simplicity. 
With just a resistor and a capacitor, it can significantly improve the quality of your transmitter signal. It's a small change, but the impact can be massive, especially in large-scale industrial processes. Remember, in the world of process control, damping is not just about turning down the noise, it's about turning up the accuracy.